Okay, in Mod 7, we're really looking at multi-step word problems. And want to really focus on the drawings, because the drawings most of the time will help you see how to solve it, along with help you keep from making mistakes on what is actually being asked. Okay, and number two says Lang went to a bookstore. He spent one-third of his money on a pen and four-sevenths of it on books. What fraction of money did he have left? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a tape diagram so I can put all the information in here. And I know here is always the total. And this is all of Lang's money. And since it's asking what fraction he had left, all of Lang's money is going to be one whole. Now I see as he spent one third of his money. And he spent that on a pen. And it says he spent four sevenths of his money on books. And they want to know how much was left. So by this, I can see that if I subtract the sum of these two, which is one third plus four sevenths, subtract that from one, then I'll be able to find out how much was how much was left. Now I could also take one whole, subtract one third from it, and then subtract four sevenths from that. So two different ways. One of them you're adding the two parts, the one-third and four-sevenths, and subtract from the whole, or you can take one minus one-third minus four-sevenths, and I'll show you both of them. Now, this is actually pretty easy here, because if I take one minus one-third, that gives me two-thirds minus four-sevenths. Now, if we're drawing a model for it, the way we've been doing it in class up to this point, we know this here would be two-thirds and this one would be sevenths. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it says there's four of them. Now I'm going to transfer my sevenths over to my thirds. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can see here the new nom, and, well, excuse me, I got to take my thirds over to my other fraction. Now we can see our two thirds now is actually 14 21st minus on this one. We know it's going to be 21st, and we can see 3 by 4 was what was shaded in, so that's going to be 12. So that would leave us 2 21st left. So left would equal 2 21st of his money. Now let's take a look and look at the other equation and see if it works out the same. So this time let's add 1 third plus 4 sevenths. And We'll do models with it again. So here's our thirds. And here's our sevenths. And shading in four of them. Now I'm going to convert my sevenths over to here. And put my thirds over here. Now we can see on this one, we end up with 7 21st. Plus over here, we got a 4 by 3, so it's going to be 12 21st, which equals 19 21st. So now we have 1 minus 19 21st. And we can see that would be equal to 2 21st. 
So we come up with the same answer. So two different strategies of solving it. Whichever one's best for you, that's one you should use. Okay, number four. Mr. Rivaz bought a can of paint. He used three-eighths of the paint on a bookshelf. He used a quarter of the paint on, on a wagon, and he used some of the paint on a birdhouse and has one-eighth of the paint left. How much did he use for the birdhouse? Okay, so let's use the tape diagram to help get all our thoughts and information down. And once again, we know this is one whole can of paint. And he says he used three eighths on a bookshelf. Then he says he used a quarter on a wagon. And he said he used some on a birdhouse and we don't know what that value is and then it said he had one eighth was left now we know we're looking for the birdhouse how much he used on the birdhouse so once again we could take one minus three eighths minus one quarter minus one eighth and that would equal how much was used for the birdhouse or we could also take one whole and subtract the sum of all the paint that was used once again we'll use both of them now I can see here I can simplify this real quick because I can see I have three eighths and one eighth, so that's going to be four eighths plus one quarter. And from what we've been in, doing in class, we know if we were to take one quarter and make eights out of it, so one quarter would be times two over two, which would be two eighths. So now I have one minus four eighths plus two eighths, which is going to give me one minus six eighths which equals two eighths. Now two eighths can be simplified because I know I can do one times two and I can do four times two equal eight. And I take out the common ones and I can see that one quarter of the paint was used in the birdhouse. Now let's do it the other way and see if it comes out the same. Now I'm taking, I know one minus three eighths and in all actuality, I can combine those because in all actuality, I have four eights here. I'm subtracting. So one, because if I rewrote that, it'd be one minus three eights minus one eights minus one quarter, which that would be one minus four eights minus one quarter, which would be four eights minus one quarter. I'm eight in there. And we just saw when we covered four, converted four eighths, four eighths would equal to four eighths minus two eighths. When you convert one quarter to two eighths, would equals to two eighths. And we're right back to our simplification again. So as you can see, both work. The okay, ribbon A is one third meter long. It is two fifths meter shorter than ribbon A. What is the total length of the two ribbons? Let's start by drawing a tape diagram. And they're looking for the total length of two ribbons. And the first one, ribbon A, says it's one third of a meter. Now the second one says it is two-fifths shorter than ribbon B. So we're talking about ribbon A. Ribbon A is one-third meter long. It is two-fifth meter shorter than B. So that means ribbon B has to be one-third plus two-fifths of a meter. That's ribbon B. So in order to find the total length, we can see we have one-third plus one-third plus two-fifths, one-third plus one-third are going to be two-thirds plus 
two fifths. If we do model still, first one would be two thirds. Second one's going to be two fifths. Now I'm going to combine my fifths with my thirds. And can we got, combine my thirds with my fifths? Now the new denominator we can see is going to be 15 because 3 by 5 arrays are going to be 15. And this is a 2 by 5, so the first one's going to be a 10 fifteenths. Plus this is a 2 by 3, so it would be 6 fifteenths. Now we can see 10 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths is going to be 16 fifteenths, which is equal to 15 fifteenths plus 1 fifteenths, which equals 1 and 1 fifteenth. So both ribbons are 1 and 1 15th meters together.